Hi, this is Zach Mir, editor of Spreadbet Magazine, with a look at some bulletin board hero stocks on Friday, August the 29th. And I'm starting off with Afrin, where uh, the breakdown uh, via an unfilled gap to the downside at the end of July uh, continues in terms of uh, the latest sharp decline back through uh, the £1 level. This looks like a deflection off the top of a falling trend channel from May, uh, with the message at the moment being that at least while there's no end of day close back above the 20 day moving average at 103 pence, uh, we could be set for a new leg to the downside. This is particularly after the latest failure uh, to break back or get, able to get anywhere near uh, the floor of the uh, gap from last month at £1.20. Uh, £1.20 really needed to be broken and uh, sustained to reverse uh, this sharp breakdown message. Uh, in the meantime, uh, there's a risk of a test of uh, a May support line currently heading towards uh, the 80 pence level, uh, and that could be hit over the next couple of weeks. Uh, the downside momentum is also backed by the way that there's a, a, a May resistance line in the RSI window, and we've just deflected off the uh, that line at the neutral 50 level. So uh, not really looking very healthy at uh, Afrin. Situation at uh, Bolivian uh, is a little better at least, but uh, the shares have been disappointing. Uh, a lot of people were looking for a clearance of the 200-day moving average uh, over the course of, say, July uh, to take the shares back up to 45 or even 50 pence in the in the wake of uh, the news regarding the company. Uh, the situation at the moment is that we seem to be still trying to find a floor. The, hopefully, uh, the floor will be found towards uh, the bottom of a rising trend channel from March around the 32 pence level. Uh, we've seen a uh, support come in again uh, towards 32 pence, a uh, slightly higher uh, floor here, or actually a retest of the 32 and a half pence uh, floor for the beginning of August. And uh, at least while there's no end of day close back below that, uh, we would be looking for a rebound back towards the 50 day moving average at 37 pence. Uh, but at this stage, it's probably not wise to look for anything higher than that, uh, given the struggle we've seen uh, by the shares uh, to hold uh, this upward trend channel from earlier this year. Finishing off with the, the big one, Gulf Keystone. Uh, disappointing uh, first half results here. And uh, obviously, we've had the gap to the downside after the uh, failure really to clear or sustain the 50 day moving average at 84 pence. Uh, there is a hope and I've hope for the stock in terms of recovery in the sense that uh, there could be a line of support from March running through yesterday's low at 70 pence, uh, which would form the bottom of a March triangle. Uh, if we can hold that over the next couple of sessions, uh, you would be looking for the shares to make it back towards the uh, 115 day moving average, uh, 90 pence resistance uh, that has blocked the progress for the shares over the course of August. Uh, but really, as you can see, that uh, moving average needs to be cleared on a sustained basis to get this stock back up to uh, 100 pence plus or even back towards the 200 day moving average at £1.20 uh, over the course of the early autumn. Uh, that's it from me. More updates at spreadbetmagazine.com.